What up, world? It's your boy, Sky, broadcasting live. I'm here with all the dogs right now. We're in here playing. I have four dogs right now with Rover partnership or, you know, we have our own business, our own animal business. So it's awesome to like have true harmony amongst the dogs because I've been experiencing a lot of different personalities and it's amazing when it flows like this, like how the dogs are now, like I'm truly grateful for that. Like that's super, a small, well, it's not even a small detail. It can be if you perceive it that way. It's just for me, I'm so grateful to see them playing around like this because you know, that's what we came here to do is just to be at peace. You know what I'm saying? We don't all got to hold hands, but just it's cool when, you know, our vibe can really get along and mesh well with the right people, you know? So anyways, what I have to say is this more vegan talk, to be honest, like further into being a vegan. So like some of the main things that I'm speaking upon about being a vegan, why I went vegan, and what it has done. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> why I went vegan, like, honestly, like, I got, I feel like ooh, this is in divine order, and I feel like I am wise enough and smart enough to choose to go into alignment and be vegan. So that's what I did, and that's what I'm doing. Two and a half years into being a vegan now, but just like further scientific stuff about it, like for 20 years for me personally, I'm opening up about myself. For 20 years personally, I was eating everything. And I even typed it up on this device, this iPad, this recording right now, you know, I was eating everything. I was eating fried chicken, you know, from Popeyes, from KFC, you know, I was eating shrimp, you know, I was eating popcorn shrimp from Popeyes and from Papa Do's. I was eating brick, like, you know, sausage, eggs, bacon, ham, you know, that breakfast stuff. I was drinking milkshakes, you know, burgers, fast food, you know, chicken salads, stop, catfish, you know, tilapia, just everything, you know, bar barbecue, brisket, hey, stop, brisket, barbecue, you know, hey, stop, stop, brisket, barbecue, you know, McDonald's, burgers, chicken fingers, chicken nuggets, Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out burgers, you know, lunch meat sandwiches, you know, all the candies, all the different starchy snacks, Rice Krispies, you know, all the different candies for Halloween, for Christmas, for birthdays, birthday cakes, you know, all like the little phase I had with alcohol for like a year or two, you know, going out to the club and partying and stuff, you know, even hookah, the hookah lounge. I went to, I had a little phase of going to the hookah lounge and that's a whole, that's basically a whole bunch of cigarettes combined, you know? So just, I mean, the list goes on. I used to eat canes, chicken fingers, like just a lot of different stuff, you know, waffles, toaster strudels, just like a whole bunch of stuff. And I know I'm naming a bunch of people's grocery lists right now, but that's good. And the list goes on, you know, Twinkies, Hoistus, you know, those little chocolate bar things. Just, the list goes on for real, truly. The list goes on, like I typed it up, it's a lot of stuff. But bottom line is, I named all of that, and that's basically, and you know, like just like pizza, heavy pizza, steaks, you know? The list goes on, for real, you know? But it's like, I was, that's why it's so deep and so rare for people to do this. I'm glad I am. But like I went for 20 years with all that. You know, of course I had fruits. I had vegetables. I had salads. I had fruits. You know, I had I was eating everything. You know, obviously I love smoothies. I love juice. I love water. 
and whatnot. But at the same time, I really didn't make the connection about the whole food thing to just let go of the meat and the dairy and learn about the different properties of the foods, like, you know, a Rice Krispie or whatever. You know, that's, I mean, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's not, stop. It's just, you know, junk. Literally, you know, it doesn't grow from the grass. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't grow in the jungle. So anyways, how I stay inspired with and how I keep going forward with this is that I do the math. I write it down. You know, like I wrote down all the different places, all the different types of food I used to eat. And it just made sense because it's like 20 years, 20 years times 365. I don't know every single day of what I ate, but I know there was a good amount of time that I remember eating all that stuff, you know, with also fruits here and there. You know, I always love fruit here and there. I have vegetables here and there, you know, exercise, always had that. Sunshine, water, you know, I had that, I had rest, you know, but really it was just like the nutritional aspect I felt was the was the tip, the final tip of the iceberg, you know? The final icing on the cake, you know what I mean? So that's what keeps me going. So I'm like, okay, I know I ate fruit sometimes, but I was not no vegan, you know what I'm saying? I know I drank juices and smoothies and would get salads sometimes, but they weren't even vegan. A lot of times they had chicken or ranch or cheese and stuff. You know, but bottom line is I just break it down like that. And that's what keeps me going, you know? Cause it's like, I remember it, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my best to like, stay as present as possible and just use that as a reflection, reflection tool to see how far I've come, you know? But like, that's something I recommend people to do if you need more inspiration, like to stay on track, to keep staying vegan. Cause a lot of people quit. I've had a lot of people on this journey say, oh, I used to be vegan, but I quit. I, I, I stopped, it got hard, it was too expensive, this, that, like all these different things, you know, and they gave up. And I still have been staying true and I am staying true, you know, because I see the bigger picture, I see what it's doing and it makes sense. And for real, it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? And those that really know me in real life, y'all see my dramatic difference, you know, how I'm so much calmer, I'm taller, I'm lankier, I'm healthier, you know, like I'm more lively, Everything's better, you know? Who would have thought I'd be in here with dogs like this? You know, playing around, having them have fun. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's some deep stuff, but that's what keeps me motivated for real, is making peace with my past, you know what I'm saying? And just doing what I can do. You know, I had a green smoothie today from Whole Foods, you know, and just doing what I can just every day. Not slacking off, not, you know, joking around or anything, but just, you know, sticking with it, you know, doing what most people don't do to get ahead of the game, you know, and yeah, it just makes sense. I just remember day after day after day, I was having about two, three meals a day, you know, of everything, you know, a lot of fast food, a lot of Chick-fil-A, a lot of Cane's chicken fingers, a lot of all the stuff I just said daily you know what i'm saying like sometimes i would get a smoothie here and there sometimes i would have some fruits from my mom you know strawberries grapes you know we love that watermelon all that stuff but that wasn't the main bulk of it and now since i'm a vegan i just embrace all plants you know and that's what i do you know what i'm saying so yeah that's that um That's that, you know what I'm saying? I just stay focused with that and I just do the math, like the research too, because after every 35 days, our body produces new cells, new organ cells from the foods that we're eating. Like we are what we eat, you know what I mean? So like, that's what I keep going. Like I'm two and a half years into being a vegan. So like, I guess a, easy, a, a good way for people to understand it and to do it for themselves is like, okay, just do the math for your own personal situation. For me, I like, this is how, it's basically like a pH scale, literally in science, a pH scale, like 
Seven is neutral. And then seven to 14 is alkaline, it's purple. And seven is green, it's neutral. And then seven and below, or below seven is acid, it's like red, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm just moving alkaline. I'm doing alkaline, to be honest. Some people say, oh, you need to have both this and that. I th I'm throwing acid out and really just, I have extreme emphasis on alkaline. So basically, that's how I kind of relate it with age, you know, with healing and everything. So like, basically this is like the median point and I basically went 20 years in reverse, you know? Maybe some of the exercise, maybe some of the being in the sun, maybe some of the meditation and some of the little fruits and vegetables might take off a couple of years or so, who knows, you know? So it may not be that bad. I already am blessed with great genetics, you know? So, but still, I'm in a de or I learned that my body is in a reconstruction transformation phase, you know? So that's how I do it. I'm like, okay, 20 years, I might take off maybe a little bit of years away there, you know, from some of the healing. And then also, I'm two and a half years into being a vegan also. So, that with the meditation. Stop! Ah! That with the meditation, you know, gives me some leeway. And I guess there's no like perfect formula for all this stuff. I don't know, y'all can do, y'all can come up with that. I'm just doing what makes sense, you know? And that's how I'm perceiving it personally. You know, just to erase, I'm erasing and clearing up that karma, you know? Like I'm living a karma free life, literally. Because me being a vegan is a fast in itself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so disciplined with it too, you know? But like, that's how I'm perceiving it and that's what's working best for me. And I'm just noticing my health improving, you know, everything. Y'all see it too, from the first video on this channel to now, an extreme change, you know? And those that know me in real life, y'all see what's up too. Y'all see your boy is long, lanky, you know, and strong too, and healthier and cool headed and everything. So like, that's how I'm doing it. You know, I'm just clean up the pad, clean up my bad karma, you know, to get back to where I'm supposed to be and build upon that, become even stronger. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's why I really recommend going vegan as well, because like it's, a passion, you know, like improving yourself, literally, your body, learn about your body, wanting to get it to optimum health, that's a passion for me. And it's a lifelong thing because so much other stuff, even besides our body, like our body can always change and grow and age too. And at the same time, there's so much else with life too. So it's like a win-win, you know, like the body and then love life, family, togetherness, you know, business life, traveling, all that stuff like comes with it and I'm cool with it. So anyways, that's how I'm seeing it. That's how I'm doing it. That's why I'm doing it. And you know, everybody benefits from it. The animals benefit, you know, the environment benefits. We, us being vegan, we save 365 animals every year. That's just one animal a day. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do it. So anyways, it's your boy Sky, broadcasting live. Peace. There are 365 animals a year. So that's one animal a day. I don't know if I said that the wrong way, but y'all know what I mean. By being a vegan, you'll save 365 animals a year. One a day. I forgot what I said. But bottom line is, thanks for watching. Peace.